The BJP is going to be finalizing its list of party parliamentary board members by late evening. And in a further boost to Narendra Modi, those prime ministerial ambitions that he has, the Gujarat chief minister is likely to be re-inducted into the party's parliamentary board that comes after a gap of six years. Modi had been appointed a member of the parliamentary board by Rajnath Singh in his previous term as the BJP chief, but then he was dropped a year later. Modi's right-hand man and the former Gujarat Home Minister Amit Shah is also set to be appointed as one of the general secretaries as well. The return of Shah has split that party with a faction opposing it as well. Um, let's get in our Deputy National Bureau Chief Sumit Pandey for more on this. Uh, Sumit, of course, all eyes really on those announcements that are going to be coming out because apart from exposing the extent of the intra-party politics that exists, that composition of that new team really reflects how that party, the party is approaching the parliamentary elections that are coming up. Well, uh, this new team when Rajnath Singh announces comes after almost one, one and a half months of deliberations within the party, the pulls and pressures within the party of the top leadership to get people close to them accommodated uh, were very very clear and finally it is expected that late this evening the, uh, the team may finally be announced. Interestingly it was Rajnath Singh who had dropped Narendra Modi six years back from the parliamentary board on the pretext that no chief minister of any state has found a place in the 11 member top decision making body of the BJP. He would be reinducted. it is most likely because of his growing stature within the BJP. There was a section within the party which wanted other Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan of Madhya Pradesh to be inducted. That's unlikely to happen now at this point in time. It's not only Modi but his close aide and confidant Amit Shah who has been facing, uh, who's been embroiled in the controversies over Surabuddin Sheikh and uh, Tulsi Ram Prajapati encounter case. He's also most likely to be inducted as a general secretary in the party, although he was not taken as a minister by Narendra Modi when he won on his third term. Uh, Varun Gandhi, the UP, uh, the, from UP, a young face um, who uh, was denied general secretary's post the last time around, is most likely to represent UP, considering party's prospects uh, in the state of Uttar Pradesh and a lot of almost 80 seats in contention. Apart from that, uh, lots of checks and balances Rajnath Singh would be wanting to do. But more or less, he has. Uh, it's likely that he's going to retain a lot of members of uh, Nitin Gadkari's team. Because, uh, as I said earlier, pulls and pressures within the party. Uh, the youth uh, wing of the BJP, which is being led by Anurag Thakur, uh, the most, uh, it, he could continue. But there is a chance that, uh, outside chance, that Pravesh Verma, uh, the son of former Delhi Chief, Chief Minister Sahib Singh Verma, may, is also in contention. Uma Bharti most likely for Vice President's post and also um, uh, for the, for the uh, Maila Murcha President, Smriti Irani has been uh, heading it. It's likely that uh, young uh, MP from Chhattisgarh, Durg, Saroj Pandey, may be made uh, the President of the Maila Murcha.